sure he's safe. <laughs> okay, now we're going to demonstrate the best way to determine if it's safe to cr what is this thing called a billy bone? Yeah, that'll be. <laughs> that we're going to find out. We're going to show you the best way to determine if it's safe to cross a billy bone. So here we go. We got first. What you do is you get a some meat from a buffalo you shot, which is right there. Head works well. You get a lovely assistant named Megan, <laughs> and you get a brave soul. Say hey to the camera. Hey. <laughs> okay. Brave soul. I like that. All right, and All right. then. This is the best way to see if it's safe to cross a billabong here in Australia. Let's see what you got. It's confirmation. Well, there you have it. It's obviously safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> okay, maybe we don't want to cross right here. Um, I think the the meat hit the water for a grand total of. 0.3 seconds before a 15-foot uh, crocodile came up and ate it. So probably not. As a matter of fact, I don't even want, to, want Megan standing behind me because she might have something against me <laughs> and might take and push me in that water right there. And uh, I'm no Michael Phelps, so it might take me a little while to get across or get out of the water. Um, but there you have it. That's the best way to determine if it's safe to cross a billabong here in Australia. My gosh.